These are the materials we need to do the absorb and repel experiment. Paper towel, rain boots, parchment paper, umbrella, sponge, and paper. We are going to use a spray bottle to see if they absorb or repel water. To record our experiment, Ms. Velasquez created a chart that says absorb and repel. On the side are the materials that we are going to try out. Let's start with the rain boots. What do you think is going to happen after Ms. Velasquez sprays water on the rain boots? Is it going to absorb or repel the water? What happened to the water? Now let's try the sponge. What's going to happen after I spray the water on the sponge? Is the sponge going to absorb or repel the water? What about a parchment paper? This is the paper we use when we bake. Is it going to absorb or repel water? Let's try a regular paper. Is it going to absorb or repel water? Now let's try Ms. Velasquez's umbrella. Why do you think we use an umbrella when it's raining outside? Is it because it's a, it absorbs or repels water? Finally, let's try a paper towel. Is it going to absorb or repel water? Why do you think we use a paper towel to wipe down spilled water or spilled milk on the counter? Now let's put the items that we tried out on the chart. Rain boots. Did it absorb or repel water? That's right. It repelled water. Sponge. Did it absorb or repel water. That's right. It absorbed water because it soaked it up. Parchment paper. Did it absorb or repel water? What do you think? That's right. It's repel. Paper. Did it absorb or repel water? Where do you think we should put it? That's right. Absorbed. Umbrella. Did it absorb or repel water? That's right. We use an umbrella in the rain because it repels water. Paper towel. Do we put it in absorb or repel? That's right. It absorbed water. These are the things that absorbed water in our experiment. And these are the things that repelled water in our experiment. I hope you enjoy that. Try it at home.